Welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'm Burning Dog Face. And now we're in Anubis Tower. We're here to drop off the Urukite crown, of course. Oh, well, that's kind of weird, the way the health things stack like that. I would imagine that's a, uh, what do you call it, an artifact of, uh, back when this game's UI was of a much, uh, lower resolution. Which is to say it was much bigger on the screen. Well, I wasn't doing anything with it. Excellent! You brought the sacred crown of Uruk. You are proving that you are a true hero. I didn't even have to hit the button this time. But you are not yet strong enough to defeat Set. I am glad that you did not confront him in Uruk. He would have destroyed you with ease. The last time is running out, Set is close to his ultimate goal of destroying his brother Osiris. There was a time when only one god ruled over us. That god was known by the name Ra. He personified both good and evil, the darkness and the light in one. Osiris was the light and Set was the dark. They ruled in harmony. It was a time of peace. But Set became greedy, as is in the nature of evil and turned against Osiris. Sudden info dump out of nowhere. I'm not complaining, it's just... He attacked his brother in an, in an attempt to become the single force in the universe, the power of evil. If Set gathers every crown that controls the Eye and destroys Osiris, the shadow of evil will be cast upon us for eternity. Set is gathering strength, although Osiris is weak, on the verge of death. That you were able to stop the ritual he was using to spread the shadow of evil is perhaps why we are still alive. Now you must go to the Cursed Palace and retrieve the Sacred Crown of Heliopolis. Hmm. These cursed stones will help you free the Pharaoh. I am sure he'll be very pleased to see you. You got three cursed stones. Each magic stone has the power to lift the curse from one inhabitant of the cursed palace. I'm trying to think what the fastest way to get there would be. You know what? Screw it. Let's just run. Excellent. Get over here. There we are. What he meant by the eye. Ah. 
I not burn these ones already, or do they just respawn? I thought I did test these ones, since this was around the time I started getting them. The, uh, armadillos, I mean. Rest in peace, my little friend. Oh, I forgot about that. Of course, all that stuff they said about the, uh, in the beginning, there was only Ra. Uh, I haven't the slightest idea what the Egyptian mythology creation myth is, so feel free to take that with a big fat citation needed. Okay, what do we got? A white one, a magical stone associated with the goddess Nut, said to lift even the strongest curse. Magical stone of the great house said to lift even the strongest curse. Magical stone of protection and watchfulness said to lift even the strongest curse. I'm calling it, that's the one for the guards. One of the great houses I'm not sure about, and the one about the goddess nut we've had before. The description, anyway, not that rock. That would be weird. Oh, that wraps up rather neatly. Oh, all right, let's do it. Oops, wrong buton. Aha! Protection and watchfulness. Ah, oh, what devilry was that? What's going on here? Thank you, stranger, for freeing me, but I'm afraid I cannot allow you to see the pharaoh. I have strict orders. No visitors without an invitation. Maybe you should go check on the pharaoh. Just a thought. I'll wait here. Oh, you're still here. My dear Pharaoh, I do hope he's in good health. White. Oh, I say, what happened? What is this strange place? My doggies, where have my precious doggies gone? Oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Please, sir, you must help me. I cannot go back home to my sister in Abydos without my precious doggies. I can hear them. They must be nearby. I'm sure they wouldn't wander too far all, all on their own. Goodness knows what I'm going to do if something happened to them. Look over there, it's one of my doggies. Mutt! I like that. Please, sir, capture him and bring him back to me. 
Do you mean that, like, the way I capture everything else, or...? Yeah, I guess you do. I don't want to attack him, so... Chihuahua. And I believe there was already one of these in the museum, so I'm not gonna go, uh... Oh. Uh -oh. I'm not just gonna go, uh, hand it in and be heartless. Chihuahua. A chihuahua is a smooth-coated dog of diminutive stature. While they are highly respected by the dog-loving community, most find their incessant yapping to be very irritating. Again, not getting a dog person vibe from that description. Oh my goodness, you caught him. You are a most kind gentleman. I'm afraid there are still two doggies left. I'm sure they must be in this building somewhere. I can work with that. This building really... For being a palace, this building really isn't that extensive so far. Why, there's one now. Hey, I immediately found one. Some of my precious doggies have returned, but one is still missing. Oh, I do hope he is all right. And let me guess, the other one is in this hall. Attack that health. You know, I'm really glad they thought of, uh... So I just wanted to put that away. I'm really glad they thought of, uh... Giving the, uh, coin beetles a noise so you know that when you've gotten them all. What? That made sense in my head. Oh my goodness, thank you ever so much! You have found all of my doggies! At last I can take them home and stop worrying. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. Didn't see that one coming. Let me guess, this is how I get the invitation. Why the hell would Set have one? A fifth jar, you say? Suspicious. Look, you can see the uh, back of the lock there, and it's not textured. Ah, oh, monster! I thought it'd be death by starvation, but it's much worse! Ah! Back, I say, you monstrosity! Set can kill me, but do not steal my soul! Yeah, they clearly didn't intend for you to see the lock from uh, this angle. Whoops! Oh, Basket is gone. I can't talk to him. Go away, evil creature. Set can kill me, but he's not going to steal my soul. 
Let's just grab that key and, uh... I don't know, shove it in my head. Unlock the innermost secrets of my mind. No, fine, let's do the plot thing. Here you go. Wait. Cage key. The key to the Urukite's cage. Now we know. Leave me alone. Don't kill me. Ah. What's this? You're freeing me. Who are you? Hmm. You don't look as frightening outside the cage. Why are you helping me? You accused me of stealing jewels in the castle, but I never did. My name is Kensu. I'm an Urukite. We were the inhabitants of this region before Set appeared. Now only a few of us remain, surviving in this castle. Oh. We've avoided Set and his minions until now because we know the region, but as their numbers swell, our time will soon be up. If someone helps us, eventually he'll find us all. That is not good news. Anyway, we mustn't remain in this room. Set's guards are wily and could appear here at any moment. Come with me, I'll help you escape from this cell. I mean, I've already managed it myself like nine times, but you know, let's be polite. wasn't really hundreds of dead bodies at all. This secret door connects to the other sections of the castle. We must separate now. It is too risky for us to stay together. Good luck. You too. Why did he turn around at the end? I'm going to go ahead and guess I'm about to be electrocuted. Alright, I don't even... So to wear off, that's cool. I don't even see where I'm meant to be going. Can I go over here? Okay, there's where I'm meant to be going, but I can't get there. Can I mess with this? No. Can't burn that because I can't make fire at will now. I don't always just jump off and faceplant. Just usually, because it's funny. Oh, I can walk through here. Am I supposed to be able to walk through here? Like, seriously, is this going to be like... Oh, there was just like a bug or something. You just walked right through the security field. Hmm. I would have expected that to hurt more. Just as a reminder, you, uh, you can't set yourself on fire with regular ass braziers. You just dis extinguish the second you step off.
Well, that might have been because I stepped off onto the water, but nope, nope, just gone. Hmm. Once again, it is much more complicated than it looked at first glance. I know I can get in here. Fire! Well, that didn't last long. Eh, yeah, worth a shot. Okay, I guess I'll start off the next video by pulling that lever. But for now, it's outro time. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. When uh, Prince Tut tries to wrap his head around this latest conundrum. Later!